everybody, I'm Boaz Feiler. I'm an evolutionary astrologer and I'm here with the evolutionary astrology message for the week between the 15th and the 22nd of September 2018. So, so much earth in the sky. Makes me want to sit down like Ferdinand the Bull in the meadow and smell the flowers all day. But, earth says, practical you must be. And when sitting down smelling those flowers, you start understanding the things, you, you permeate on the things that are of essence in your life and the things that you should strengthen and deepen in your life. Earth is about practicality and Earth is about thriving. It's about deepening the roots so there could be more flowers and fruit. It's not about survival anymore. And it's not about creating new things anymore. And we can feel that energy of settling down, of coming to an understanding that at least for the next two months, we need to permeate on what we have already and strengthen it instead of start new um, seeds or... or uh, let's say, sprout new seeds. Uh, and this week brings us to the fall equinox in the northern hemisphere, the spring equinox in the southern hemisphere, the day which night and uh, light are almost equal. And at least in the northern hemisphere, we prepare ourselves for winter. Winter is coming. We prepare ourselves and we start gathering. We start gathering in. It is not about um, seeding, it's about sowing. It's about feeding the bonds. It's about making everything ready towards the darkness and the cold. And if we are in the southern hemisphere and we are preparing for great fruitfulness to arrive after the cold has left, we are preparing for the new blossoms of life to relive, re enliven, or re enliven, re -enliven I think, our surroundings and our, our meadows. So, at that day, that's a great time for some visualization, a great time for some ceremony, a great time to see how you prepare yourself either for winter or for the fruitfulness of summer. Um, and connecting, connecting to the seasons that we are part of in tropical astrology. Okay, down to the weekdays, Saturday, the 15th, energetic morning. I'm talking in... Central European time, if you are in the Pacific, it's nine hours ahead. If you are in the East Coast, it's nine hours back of the United States. Hope you guys are all okay with all that storm that you're having. So, very energetic morning on a Saturday morning. Good time for athletics. Um, other than that, great day to go outside, weather permitting, and have some kind of adventure. It's not a day to try and work your left brain too hard. 16th, it's a Sunday, and very interesting morning regarding conversations and communication. Could be a little discombobulated and, and forgetful. Don't be too angry with yourself if you are. It's our, it is a Sunday after all. You could really enjoy yourselves with other people. And again, great day for thinking, gathering knowledge, taking things in mentally and, and communicating. Really love it. Um, however, we are heading into an exact square between Uranus and Mars on the 19th again. So all the days leading up to the 19th are a little edgy. Okay, The 17th is, has a cold and damp atmosphere to it. It's a day with the Moon in Capricorn conjunct Saturn square Chiron. You know, 
people tell me, you've warned us about this day. And I don't want to dampen your spirits or actually, you know, provide a message that would um, make you fearful or anxious or anything. No, you know, it's like I'm the weatherman. And if you know that on that day there are chances for rain showers and you take the umbrella, what I'm really saying is you prepare yourself emotionally and mentally, psychologically, that this could be an uneasy day or that could be a more sensitive day. Then if it isn't, you're elated, okay, because you're having a great day, even though you know it's a sensitive day, so that's a good thing, okay. I mean, because, you know, it's, it was supposed to be not such a good day, and it is, you're having fun. Hello, Georgia. Yes, I'm in the middle of the video. You don't care. You want in. Okay, I'm sure everybody would love to see you. Hello, Georgia. You want to say hello? Bye. Yeah. Tail passing by. Yeah. Anyway. Back to business. Georgia, I'm in the middle of the video. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm t I'm, I don't remember about what I was talking about. Go, go outside. That is in the middle of the video and you're sitting on the camera. And you're moving the camera right now. Okay, sit still. <laughs> Sorry for that. It's a new Georgia balance. Okay, so, um, yeah, you know, so if you know it's going to be raining and, and you prepare yourself and you're having a great day, you know, because you're prepared, that's a good thing. You take out your umbrella if there are a few drops coming down and you're unharmed. But if you're not prepared and that sudden storm catches you and dampens you to the bone, that could be something that would change your day, you know. So all I want you to do is just know that it's a little more sensitive, that the, the background music is a little bit, bit more sensitive, that we could be a little bit harder with ourselves or with others on that day. And so if we know it, we compensate for it. And then everything is fine. And actually these days can become deep days in which we learn and mature. Remember that each symbol has a spectrum from the low end to the high end. So if I'm talking about judgment with Saturn and cold and harsh um, feeling, it's also a place of great responsibility and ethics and hegemony and maturity and responsibility. And when I talk about Chiron as a place that could be wounded or hurt, it's also a place that it can be healed heal itself or heal others. Okay, the 18th, nothing much to say about the 18th. It's leading up to the 19th in which we have the exact square between Mars and Uranus. So watch your temper. It's a day with the moon conjunct Pluto as well. We could be dramatic, overly dramatic and overly obsessive about our ideas and make mountains out of molehills. Uh, we could dig in too deep when we're not in, a, in the right position to do that. We should respect the privacy of others on that day. And other than that, it could be a transformative day with deep communications and deep knowledge and, and not bad at all. Okay, it depends where are we taking it. And then we have the 20th. The 20th, we could be dealing with a little bit of unfinished business, some karmatic business. The moon is on the descending node. It's conjunct Mars. So again, aggression, temper, and needs, and desires are on the table. Um, we could go through a need for an individualization, for independence on that day. So just 
be aware of it, especially within your personal relationships. Friday the 21st, um, actually from the 20th, the end of the 20th through the 21st, some of the 22nd, Mercury is in Kazimi, High Council with the King, the Sun. It's a great time for visualization, it's a great time for ceremony to think about the ideas, about the words, about the philosophies that we navigate our life with. This is a superior conjunction, it's more philosophical in nature. But that Kazimi, that conjunction, opposes Chiron and square Saturn. So again, we could be very much in touch with our own pains and aches and the fact that we need to mature and outgrow them in a sense. And we can have the power to do that too. We could have the understanding, the epiphany about how to actually materialize it in our life through these things. And then the 22nd, Mercury moves into Libra. It's a fun day, actually, and it leads us to September equinox, um, which is, again, a great time for a ceremony. Mercury in Libra makes us all more diplomatic, uh, seekers of justice and compromise and partnership, and very, very curious, which is a good thing. Unquenchable curiosity especially about people. Anyway, I want to thank you for listening. We're still looking for uh, two people for our beginners group, and we're opening up an intermediate group as well. Um, and, of course, for private consultations and any question you might have, you can uh, talk to me and contact me. And I want to thank you for sharing this. I want to thank you for commenting, and I want to thank you for watching this and liking this because it exposes this video for mo to more people. This is Boaz Feiler and Georgia signing off, wishing you all happy holidays from whatever creed, race, religion, or gender you are. Um, have a beautiful week. Bye-bye.